Hey guys, so I'm here today with my staple hair products for 2016. I have quite a bit, this huge basket. So I'm not going to be telling you guys um, any like direct details. All of the products that I have in this basket, I've reviewed all of them. So if any of you want like an in detail review, just go to my profile page, go to the natural hair, product review playlist and you can find any of this in there a lot so these are the hair products that I love and use the most and um, some of them work better than others like I have different reasons for using it each individual product so first I'm going to start with um, some, of the, some of the items that I've been using since I first went natural so I have my fruit of the earth aloe vera gel and Kimmy tube leave-in and I also have my curl replenishing spray, which I don't currently have here in the basket because I'm waiting on some of the ingredients to come in the mail. Next, I have Tresemme Naturals, and this is uh, great for co-washing as well as conditioning your hair. I get mine from Target. Next, my next favorite item to do wash and goes with um, would be the Miss Jessie's leave-in condition paired with the Coily Custard by Miss Jessie's. Once again, we have the Camille Rose Naturals, and this is the Curl Love Moisture Milk, and combined with the Curl Maker. I really like the results for these these three products as far as wash and goes go. And sometimes if I want to do not a super defined wash and go, but just like a really soft wash and go, I love to use the um, Curling Gel Souffle by Shea Moisture. And I believe the last product that I have here for wash and goes is the Inu Essentials Luscious Curling Cream. This product right here is really good for doing um, conditioner only wash and goes. I used this for a straight month last year around the same time and it produced beautiful beautiful curls with no gel just this so as far as co-washing goes I also really love the VO5 um, you can get this VO5 anywhere um, depending on what store you go to it'll be in, in between 70 cents and a dollar um, my favorite one is the strawberries and cream and I also like the the coconut one those two really infuse your hair with a lot of moisture okay it doesn't look like I brought it in here but the um, as I am conditioner co-wash I really like that co-wash I must have ran out of it so but what I do have in here is the as I am cleansing pudding and this one foams up more than the co-wash but I do really like both and I I love that this one it gets your hair just kind of like squeaky clean but without stripping it of any of its natural moisture so on to oils the oils that I like to keep around this is grapeseed oil this is my favorite and I use this one um, in all of my products, but I also use this one to do oil rinses. Next, I have castor oil. This one I like, but I don't use it a lot because it's an emollient and when I put it in my hair, um, it just, my hair just gets super fluffy and super huge. So this one I like to use during the summer when it's really, you know, just like dry and uh, hot. I have the Shea Moisture Reconstructive Fixing Finishing Elixir. And this one I like because like right now, my hair is in a wash and go. It could use like a little shine. So I like that you can just spray this in your hair and it goes on easily. So that is, I got this one from Target. Next. This oil is the best oil, the best oil, like hands down. This oil is better than any oil that I've ever used. And it works, it works like amazingly with like every product that I have. This is the Coco Conscious Collective Straight Transformations Intensive Style Primer. This is just like, um, 
a bunch of different oils mixed together but whatever the mixture is it is perfect for my hair like I love it so much um, I've had this since November I've already used like half of half of the bottle this one you will love it if you try it you can only oh I was going to say you can only get it on their website but they actually just now started selling their products on amazon.com also so I think that's it now I have one more oil in here this oil I bought so long ago I like you guys ask me do I still use when and like I was using it but I don't know like the the as I am co-wash I think is like better than the win and it's cheaper um, but this right here this is pomegranate rosemary treatment oil and it's cold pressed and um, you can use this you can put this in your hair like the night before you wash or you can just use it just as a regular oil you can use this as a body oil I bought this probably five years ago and I still I still use it I just used it the other day but I used about half of the bottle but this is a really good oil and they they actually have different types like they have tea tree oil I did have the tea tree oil but I used all of that one yeah. double butter cream you guys have heard me talk about this stuff a million times um, I paid $25 for this bottle at Sally Beauty Supply but honestly I've had it for like two years you don't have to use a lot it's almost empty now but this was this right here is the number one leave-in conditioner that I have other than the Kimi tube this one is really 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 good and I also have this not today I really don't use the not today on its own I use this to make the Kimi tube leave-in next this is a comeback curl next day curl revitalizer by Cantu it's not like it's not listed as a conditioner but this stuff conditions the crap out of your hair like this product right here I haven't been able to find it in any of the stores I got it in my onyx box and it's almost empty and I've been trying to get my mom to give me hers because I know she doesn't use it even though she says that she does this stuff right here it puts so much moisture back into your hair um, a lot of you have always asked me like how do I get my um, how do I get my hair to like last and stretch for like 30 days you just spray a little bit of this on there cover it up with a scarf and then the next morning it feels like just refreshed I've never actually used it to refresh a wash and go though I should try but Coco Conscious Collective makes really really good conditioners all of their products are good but their conditioners are really really great um, my favorite is the I don't know why it's not in here I thought that I put it in here but this is in here which is not supposed to be in here the um, straight concoctions or straight transformations all of their products are just they they're amazing and like when you use them in conjunction it uh, I just I had like the best wash and go when I was in the Bahamas and that's what I used so I am a fan and then as far as um oh wait hold on I have one more two more Giovanni direct leave-in you guys probably use this to death everybody loves the Giovanni products and then I also have Garnier Fructis sleep sleep and shine and I just reviewed this product last month um, I like that it's cheap I like that it's efficient it's effective it's thick you can get it anywhere um, it really reminds me a lot of the double butter cream if I had to compare something that was cheaper than a double butter cream it would be this this is only like four dollars and like 95 cents versus the double butter cream which is like $25 at Sally's okay as I am naturally their leave-in conditioner I also love this product you would think that I would love like all of the products that they make but I do have a few products by as I am that um, I don't love them you know but most of their products I love to death but I buy them when they're on sale I also have the as I am naturally smoothing gel this is a really great gel it doesn't have that much of a hold but it is really really good okay so 
I have one styler in here. Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. This one I really love to use um, when I'm doing like roller sets and different things like that. So I'm coming down to the end of what's in the basket here. I have a Shea Moisture Anti Breakage Frizz Free Shine Mist. When I don't have my curl replenishing spray ready, this is my alternative to refreshing my wash and goes in the morning. And it smells really good. All right. Now for the washing. Like I told you, I forgot the Coco Conscious stuff. But the bottle, the bottle looks like this. It just is a different color on the bottom. But I love the Coco Conscious stuff. This is As I Am Naturally Curl Clarity Shampoo. I really like to use this one as a clarifier. Um, it's not too harsh on the hair and you don't have to use a lot of it. It rinses out really clean. Giovanni Too Chic Ultra Moist Shampoo. Um, I love these products. I've used them um, probably like going on three years now. And so they always yield good results. And if there's anything that I use that have, um, like if I'm not sure if there's like dimethicone in it, that will get everything out of your hair, which is why I like it. The conditioner, right here. The conditioner is also really thick, really good. I think this is the, yeah, this is the avocado and olive oil. So this is my favorite one to use. I've never used um, any of the other Giovanni products other than the direct leave-in and then this right here is my go-to deep conditioner and this is a deep deep moisture hair mask I love this stuff and it's always on sale even um even I bought these from Whole Foods but they still had the coupons on them that's what I really like about the Giovanni products is no matter what store you go to they always have like the um, $1.50 off coupon and so you can use it on each bottle, which is kind of cool. Okay, Shea Moisture, um, Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask. I really like this deep treatment mask. It's really thick. And my last product, Coco Conscious Straight Transformations Deep Smoothing Deep Treatment. And I don't know if all of their contain if all of their deep conditioner containers are really small like this, but you don't have to use a lot. Um, the the last time I used it, I think I got two uses out of this, but I also had shorter hair, so this might only be be enough for one use for me. But anyway, that's how that looks. So that is um, my staple hair products. Um, for 2016 and uh, most of these products I'm gonna say are pH balance which is why I chose the products that I chose because um, my hair turns out better you know when I use pH balanced products is what I've learned so I focus on moisture and pH and um, I always get really great results with everything that I just showed you guys and I will talk to you all later the lens check video is going to be in March. February is a really busy month for me because we have like five birthdays within the family. And so it's like every week something's going on. So I always do my lens check video in um, March. But anyway, I will see you all later.